A lot of people are attracted to anthropology because it is or has been in large part a field science. And the idea of getting outside out of a garage like this and into the sunshine and work with people or with ancient uh, remains is an attractive thing for a lot of people uh, who want to have a more uh, active career and potentially do um, field science. So a big question that a lot of students ask is, should I take a field school? And you may be wondering, what exactly is a field school? And is it a good idea? And how do I go about doing it? And what would I learn? So I'm going to answer all of those things for you. Um, firstly, a field school is typically a four credit field research experience where you will go and engage in real field work, but it will be in the context of an actual class. So you will actually have some material that will be lessons, and every field school does this differently. Some of them actually do have lectures and readings. Some of them it's more like learn by doing, and you have uh, you know, professors and TAs and stuff who are there in the field showing you the process of how to do field work. Um, in the sort of set of disciplines within anthropology, by far archaeological field schools are the most common. There are field schools in biological anthropology, um, probably a little bit more in paleoanthropology, the study of ancient human fossils, and to a slightly lesser degree in forensic anthropology. And then there are some field schools uh, in ethnography, although there probably are fewer of those than other things. There are also some field schools in primatology um, and a few, I would say more like field experiences in linguistics, etc. rather than, uh, well, I don't really know of any true field schools in, in ethnolinguistics um, that happen these days. Anyway, not to say that there aren't any. So, that's what field schools are. They're a field experience that is set up as a course that you take typically for credit, although sometimes not for credit, so you have to pay attention to that. And they can take place locally, they can take place somewhere else in the country, or they can take place internationally. And you have a sort of suite of choices in front of you when you're trying to decide if you should do one and which one you should do. And Firstly, you should think about whether a field school is right for you. So if you're planning to go on in a career that is firmly within anthropology, especially in cultural resource management, they almost, uh, employers almost require you to have some field experience. And a field school, an accredited field school, would be the one thing that they'd be looking for on your resume when you're applying for your first jobs. Um, there are some field schools that are particularly set up to teach you how to do cultural resource management style of archaeology. And I have a list of some resources in the um, um, canvas description for this segment here that links to the Registry of uh, Professional Archaeologists list of accredited field schools, credited for field for cultural resource management. So those are ones that are really good for that. But almost any field school is probably going to be enough get you that first job. Um, the second thing you should think of is um, even if you're not going to go on in the field of anthropology specifically, do I want to have a field experience? What could it bring to me in general even if I don't go on in something explicitly anthropological and I'm going to go into a different career but use my anthropological training? And the answer to that is well it kind of depends on you but I tend to think that field school experiences are really uh, indelible experiences that help shape um, students and really are often formative for people who even if they don't go on in archaeology or anthropology they often look back and think of that as some, one of the best things they ever did uh, in college especially so I, I think you should think about it now, what are the downsides of going on a field school? Well, almost all of them cost money. Yeah, I know. It's the scourge of our existence. Um, some of them are more expensive than others. 
Some of them have financial aid available. Some of them have scholarships available. So you have to do your research. Um, there are scholarships available from some societies, like Society for American uh, Archaeology, Society for California Archaeology, a few other places, the uh, American Association of Anthropology, often have a few scholarships available, um, although these are very competitive and sometimes hard to give, get. Um, some of the actual field schools themselves, if they have a funding source, they may have independent scholarships available. Um, so it's uh, important for you to do your homework. If you're taking these for credit, they will count within your, uh, at least the tuition part will count within your general scope of whatever financial aid that you're getting. So it's possible to secure some financial aid through whatever route you're already getting it that might cover those, uh, the, the sort of tuition part of it. Uh, now, often field schools have tuition, and then they also have a program fee, which covers typically your room and board, and uh, sometimes some material fees for, you know, materials they need to, to do the field school. And that can be kind of expensive, depending on where in the world it is, how long the field school is going. It could be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars, and and. You have to pay attention to those fees because they're on top of your tuition. And if it's someplace non-local, on top of airfare or other travel fees that you have to pay for yourself to get wherever you're going. So you can see how especially international field schools can start to add up. That said, they can be really rewarding because you're going to go, you're going to live in a country. It's almost equivalent to a semester abroad, which we'll talk about in a, in a separate video. Um, in the sense that you really get an in-depth in-country experience. Often they have tours that they take students on on the weekends or you're free to go off and travel around the country on your own. I have led one field school and it was international and it was in Spain and um, we had a pretty good time despite the fact that it actually rained. We were in northern Spain where, where it is not sunny all the time. It actually rains in the summertime. Um, but students had a blast and they traveled around and uh, I enjoyed my experience as well. And we excavated at a sort of Iron Age and Roman period site, which was not at all anything that I normally do. So it was kind of a fun change of pace archaeologically for me. So you may be thinking, okay, now I got to see how much this is going to cost. I got to see if it's really going to be an experience worth it for me. Um, is this something I really want to do? And I think only you can answer that. But you owe it to yourself to at least research through and see if this is something that you want to do. And probably what you're going to do, the way that our program is structured, is you're probably going to be taking the field school in the summer of your junior year. Some of you might be doing it as early as summer of your sophomore year. I did mine at that stage, sophomore year, and it really cemented the fact that I really, knew, after that, knew I wanted to be an archaeologist. And um, I went to the country of Jordan. I went through UC San Diego. It was a pretty wild experience. We lived in tents in the desert. Uh, but it really was a formative experience for me, and it can be for you as well. Some students go on a field school and go, oh, I never want to do field work again, and that's fine. It's actually better to discover it during a field school than to get your degree and then try and get a job and go, oh, I really hate doing this part of anthropology. So uh, I do recommend you look into it knowing that it can be expensive. We do offer field schools here through, through our program, and these are probably your most cost-effective option. Dr. Malios runs our archaeological field school on Palomar Mountain, and uh, Dr. Perez runs uh, ethnographic field school in Oaxaca. There's some information about those. I know at least the Palomar Mountain one, uh, Dr. Malios is trying uh, to run this coming summer. I'm not sure about the Oaxaca program. They were all put on hiatus for this past summer due to COVID-19. So that is some information about field schools. Uh, read also below, and then I will make a second video following up about study abroad and how it's different from a field school.